20 minutes and I'll be sexy, right? What's up, Waterboy gang? My name is Waterboy Walters, and welcome to the Waterboy vlog. And now in today's episode, I'm going to tell you how I lost 50 pounds. So I went from 240 pounds, and I dropped down to about 190 pounds. And I'm sorry to say, but no, it was not done just by wrapping myself in plastic. And to be completely honest, you're probably not going to like my answer, but here it is. So look, there's no tricks or magic pills or magic little techniques that'll instantly make you lose weight without putting in any work. It does actually require a lifestyle change. Now before you exit the video, uh, I do actually have a couple of tips that really helped me speed up the process to where I was able to finally make that push to lose the weight pretty quickly. Now the first thing we're going to talk about is the nutrition side of things. Now I've always had like really poor nutrition habits, like I, I love junk food, I love eating late at night, uh, McDonald's, like I love McDonald's. Um, so that's always been kind of a thing that I've had trouble uh, and I kept slipping up on. In the past when I tried to lose weight, it would be like super strict, try and eat only healthy foods, and then I'd have <clears throat> one bad meal or go out to eat one time and the whole thing just kind of collapsed from underneath me. So my goal was to try and find a way where if I did end up slipping up for a meal, if I went to you know a graduation party or my parents um, took me out to eat, I would be able to have that slip up meal, but it wouldn't ruin my entire diet or all the work that I've already put in. Because it is really hard for uh, like normal people like us who have to make our own meals um, to eat healthy every single time we eat. We have events to go to, um, we want to go out and eat, we have celebrations that uh, we go out and we have, you know, a couple drinks or something like that. Life is busy. So what I decided to give a shot, um, I actually adopted uh, intermittent fasting. Now there's a few variations that you could go about doing this. Personally, what I did was I only ate from noon to 8 p.m. So the goal was just to give yourself like an eight hour window to eat in. Um, and you can kind of change that based on whatever your schedule is. So if you really like to eat in the morning, but not really at night, you could do like a nine to five or like a 10 to six, uh, something like that. For me personally, I don't have a problem not eating in the morning, but at night I like to eat. Um, so I like to have that 8 p.m. cutoff. Uh, but that gives you a full 16 hour period of where you're not eating any um, calories, anything like that. You can still have water um, and coffee. Like in the morning, I'd be able to have coffee and that was fine for me. But the big thing is that you're getting 16 hours where you're not consuming any calories. So then your body starts to burn off more of the like fat cells. Now within that eight hour period, it's important not to be like, okay, it's 12 o'clock. I'm going to eat seven pizzas. Um, Obviously, if you have an eight hour window where you eat and you're eating a healthy diet, then the process is just going to go faster and faster and faster. Um, but the nice thing is like you could, if you're only eating in those eight hours, you could have pizza for supper and it's not going to ruin your whole, um, your whole nutrition plan. It's just that it might take a little longer to put off all that weight. Um, whereas like I said, if you do intermittent fasting while eating healthy meals and healthy food for the most of the time, uh, the process is just going to go a lot faster than you would think. Now to uh, what foods I ate, nutrition that I was putting into my body. Main staples, I ate a lot of chicken, turkey, and fish. Those are your big lean meats. Um, I ate a lot of those every day for lunch or supper would be, I'd try to do like a chicken or a turkey or fish. And I know a lot of people, and you might be one of those people that says, I don't like chicken, I don't like turkey, and I don't like fish. And honestly, like I used to be like that too. Like I used to be like, oh, chicken breast, like it used to taste really gross when I was um, doing more strict diets. Um, I've never been a big fan of just like plain fish. Um, if it was like battered and caked with like butter and all that other good stuff, then I liked it. But, um, and then turkey, I've just never, it's just kind of like that bland taste. 
But one thing that I discovered um, and that I've been doing is I've been making my own spices and seasonings. Like for example, um, the other day I made chicken breast and I, I made this buffalo seasoning and I just sprinkled a bunch of it on there um, and it just tasted like buffalo chicken. Like it was delicious. So there are ways to go about making all these bland lean meats taste really, really good. Now you could either make your own um, s spices and seasoning type mixes. Uh, you can find a lot of them on Pinterest. If you just go on Pinterest, type in like spice blends, uh, you'll find a lot of like throw some cumin and some paprika together, mix it in a bowl, throw it on there. Um, a lot of stuff like that. Otherwise, if you don't really have time, you don't want to make your own, <clears throat> you can definitely purchase some. Just be aware of what ingredients they're using. Like I know Lowry's, uh, not to call them out or anything, but I think they put like sugar and a couple other things that you don't necessarily want in there. If you are looking for a recommendation on um, buying your own, there is a company called Flavor God, and they make a lot of spices and stuff that uh, he uses all like the natural ingredients. So they're actually, there's nothing bad in them. There's no like added sugar or anything like that. Uh, you can check them out. Um, personally, I like to just make my own because I think it's fun to experiment with all different spices and see what you can make, but that's totally up to you. Now, I'm actually going to be sharing a lot of um, like healthy recipes or like healthy spice blends that I've made. Um, I'll be sharing a lot of those videos later in the future. So if you want to keep up to date on those, if you want some ideas on how eating healthy can actually taste really, really good, uh, make sure you just subscribe below and then you're notified whenever those videos come out. All right, what else? Uh, I also eat a lot of vegetables. Um, not a big fan of vegetables, but again, what I did, I would either mix it in with the meat to make like kind of like a stir fry, chop up some chicken, throw a bunch of vegetables in there. Uh, that was really good, that helped. Um, I also put like spices again with vegetables. I didn't eat a whole lot of fruit. Um, I personally just try to stay away from any kind of sugar. Now I know fruit has good sugar in it, but um, it's just kind of a choice that I wanted to make. If you want to eat fruit, that's, I mean, fruit is obviously a natural ingredient, so go for it. Um, that's just kind of the route I chose. One other thing I wanted to say was I did not completely stay away from carbs. I know a lot of people are very anti-carbs, um, but I was working out a lot, so I needed some carbs in order to give my body the energy to work out. Um, but I made sure to get my carbs from healthy sources. So that was whole wheat breads, brown rice, uh, sweet potatoes. I wasn't getting my carbs from processed foods. One thing I did make sure to do though, was during the evening meals, I would try to limit the carbs as much as possible. And this one, if you have been following the channel for a while, it's gonna surprise you guys. I actually stopped drinking any kind of alcohol for a long period of time. Um, that includes craft beer. I'm a big craft beer lover, but uh, I knew that that, <laughs> looking back on the timeline, that is when I started to put on a lot of weight, uh, drinking a lot of craft beer, having a desk job, um, and eat fast food for lunch every day. So I decided to cut off alcohol for a while. Now you don't need to stop completely. I'm not saying like, don't drink alcohol ever again, anything like that. Um, but do try to, to limit it to special occasions. So now, like, I won't be like, oh man, I just want to sit here and like, you know, watch TV and drink a beer. I won't do that anymore. I'll only drink if we um, are celebrating something or if we go out with friends or on some type of occasion. The main point that I want to emphasize to you guys, if you go like super duper strict on your diet to where you only eat chicken and rice or something like that, it's not going to last because as soon as you slip up, um, you're going to feel like, oh man, I just can't do it. And then you kind of give up. Um, where if you allow yourself to have slip ups because you have this window and it, you know, you slipped up, you had some pizza for supper, but it's in your window. You feel kind of better about it. You're more, you're more easily going to get back on track with your nutrition. And the big thing is like, you're not going, you don't have to be Captain America in a week. So take your time. It does take a little bit. Um, be patient and uh, allow yourself to make mistakes because everybody's going to slip up on the diet. We know it's, it's inevitable. So um, just forgive yourself, move on, and get back on track as soon as possible. And the second thing is we're going to move on to exercise. Now me personally, I made my workout routine extremely strict because I was sick and tired of looking like this. Um, so this is a very extreme version. 
you do definitely do not have to you know, get into the gym as much as I was doing or anything like that. But uh, if you're looking to really speed up the process, here's what I did. I was going to the gym between five to six times a week. Um, still am, but um, if you are a beginner of a gym, if you're not really familiar with it, definitely recommend like th three or four, if you do like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, three to four times a week, it's a, a good starting point and just kind of work your way up. Again, it's all about easing into it, not going boom, I'm going all in, I'm gonna work out every day, I'm never gonna eat a junk food again, compared to slowly working your way into um, living this healthier lifestyle because it's not just a change for you know two weeks um, I am addicted to cooking healthy meals and I really enjoy working out now so it, it has been a big lifestyle change so when I would go to the gym I would start with um, running on or some type of cardio my main cardio was on the treadmill I would always hop on there and I'd run um, I started with running three quarters of a mile to a mile and I kept working that way up and um, by the peak of my like weight loss and fitness and everything I was running I would sometimes run like three miles on the treadmill just for like a warm-up and then after I would do my running um, or do some weight training as well just because I, I didn't want to just get like super duper skinny I wanted to keep on a little bit of the weight but I wanted to add muscle um, so the routine that I started doing was a push-pull legs and like I said I was doing six days a week so I would do I would start, sorry, there's a hair. I'd start on Monday, push, Tuesday pull, Wednesday legs, and I would go, and then I'd have Sundays where I would just kind of take the day to let my body recover. Now the cool thing about this, doing it six times, uh, working out six times a week, was that I was hitting each body grouping um, twice a week. So on my push days, I'd be hitting um, like my chest, my triceps, and my shoulders, and then on my pull days, I'd be doing a lot of biceps and backs and legs obviously my legs um, and then after I'd be done with the workout routine I do like one or two ab just little ab exercises um, before I left the gym that way I was kind of hitting my my core just a little bit every day you don't have to do like an intense core workout if there's like one machine or something you like to do um, I'll show a couple of my favorite ab exercises and some videos in the future um, that really helped me kind of develop uh, losing stomach fat. And then um, I would also play basketball as often as I could, and that wouldn't replace my workout. That's the big thing. Like if I go and play basketball, that doesn't mean that I don't have to work out today. It's just kind of that added bit of cardio that I enjoy doing, so it doesn't seem like work to me. So if you can find something that you really like doing, whether it's basketball, um, like floor hockey, something where you're moving, running around, that's kind of an added bonus to help you lose that weight quicker. So in conclusion, guys, the big things, um, patience. You have to have patience with yourself. Like I said, you don't have to be a superhero, looking like a superhero in a week. Um, it's going to take some time. Um, forgiveness. You forgive yourself for when you do slip up. Um, just get back on track as soon as possible. Don't completely give up just because you had one bad meal. It's not going to make or break you if you have one or two bad meals here and there. Um, throughout time, if you per continually eat healthier, um, if you think of it like a batting percentage, if you eat 7 out of 10 meals that are healthy, I mean, you're a Hall of Fame baseball player. So just think of it that way. Keep going. Um, and just dedication. Stay dedicated to it. So like I said before, um, I will be sharing some of my workouts and some exercises that I really have found that helped me a lot and a lot of healthy recipes a lot of meals that i have really liked um, that have helped me lose weight be sharing those videos in the future so make sure you subscribe below and thank you guys for watching this episode of the waterboy vlog i hope you took something out of this if you have any tips or anything that really worked for you go ahead and drop them in the comment section below so that other people can look in the comments and uh kind of see if there's anything that might interest them and that way we can all just kind of help each other out to live a better healthier lifestyle and until next time, I will see you guys in the next episode of the Waterboy Vlog. And remember, stay true, be you. So tell me, 
What's your story?